expect that life on Mars is not entirely different uh, from life uh, on Earth. And we're actually taking microorganisms um, from the Earth and put them in our laboratories under conditions as they are on Mars. And we found in these experiments that some extremophile organism can actually metabolize, that is, digest uh, and replicate uh, under Martian conditions. And therefore, uh, we would assume that life on Mars is not entirely different from life on Earth. But we also uh, have to understand we're always talking about microorganisms. Mars is our neighbor planet, and uh, therefore the conditions on Mars are the most similar to the conditions on Earth for any other body in the solar system. And because it's our neighbor, it can be relatively easily reached with the space technology that we have at hand. Therefore, Mars is our prime target for finding life on a planet other than the Earth and studying the environment under which that life may possibly have formed. Mars Express, and in particular the images of the high-resolution stereo camera, have uh, mapped Mars at very high resolution uh, and allow us to, to look at Mars in 3D images. Let us fly across the surface of Mars, let us look around on the surface of Mars, and in particular look for geological formations where water was once present and where we can expect that perhaps life originated. Well, for the future, we need to go back to Mars, and in particular, we have to go to the uh, surface of Mars. The next step uh, will be a lander that will put a geoscience observation station on Mars. But if you look beyond that, and if you look in particular for the life question, we're looking at a mission like ExoMars, the European lander on the surface of Mars, that will, uh, in fact, be equipped to seek for life extent or extinct life. So life that still exists or has existed on the surface. Uh, and um, we will take then these samples and have to look for uh, evidence for life in these samples. But in the end, uh, I'm pretty sure that we want to have samples back from Mars to put them in our laboratories where we have much better and much more evolved techniques to uh, investigate the samples from Mars. If you look beyond Mars, we're looking at the uh, Jupiter moon Europa, which is a moon that has an ocean, uh, and this ocean may uh, support life. Uh, we could also look at uh, the Saturnian moon Titan, which is much colder. We could also look at Enceladus, another moon of uh, Saturn, where people talk about possible uh, habitability. But um, th we could even go beyond our solar system uh, and uh, look at the many planets that we believe exist in our galaxy and beyond. Uh, and if I look at the large numbers of planets we expect there, I would be very astounded if there was no planet there that would be similar to our Earth. If we uh, could prove that life existed on another planet, another planet than the Earth, uh, then this would, of course, change our, our understanding of our world to, uh, fundamentally, because uh, we would no longer be having to assume that would, we would be alone in, in the universe. Of course, we speculate about life on uh, other planets, but it makes a difference whether we can prove that it actually exists. And um, the cultural difference can, can even be taken as being as important as completing the Copernican Revolution or the Darwinian Revolution, because then we are one of many in the universe and not just all by ourselves.